Hey, what's up on today's warlord? What is up today? Um, we have a lot in the news, and a lot is happening in the news, and I don't want to really want to cover most of these part of the news. And anyway, because I stayed up all night last night watching NHL tonight, and then I fell asleep, and then I woke up and why NHL? So anyway, on to the news today. Let's go. I'm gonna do top 10 best apps for students. Let's go, let's get started. Number 10, the Adobe Creative Cloud is one of the best apps out there for computers, for using computers or your tablets. I would not recommend using tablet on the Adobe Creative Cloud because it's really, it's really buggy and it's just, it, it'll give you a migraine. <laughs> just use your computer for Adobe Creative Cloud. Um, definitely check this out. You can download it for the students if you're a student or if you own your own business like myself. I use the business part of it. I just use yearly. You don't have to use monthly. Just use yearly. It'll save you a bunch of money. Instead of paying monthly, monthly, monthly out of every time of every month. Just use yearly, okay? Anyway, on to the other news. On number nine of the best apps from Engadget. Um, Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime is one of the best apps for students, especially if you're in college and you want textbooks. But I, I would recommend just going to the bookstore because it will save you time, save your shipping time, and yeah, just do that. Okay. Um, or if you want for Amazon Prime, all you tech gurus out there, they do have a lot of technology. Great, great affordable cameras or microphones or SD cards if you need them just you might as well just go to BH photo <laughs> okay um I'm guessing they have that on Amazon I don't really shop on Amazon so I I really don't know about Amazon you know yeah my book was on Amazon that I wrote but I I just said let's just do iBooks <laughs> okay um, anyway, on the other news, um, Google Drive is one of the best apps for students because how you could actually save your time putting it all in your Google Drive, but I would recommend a flash drive or a hard drive, an external hard drive, just in case something don't go haywire, in case you need to back everything up, um, just to be on the safe side and be more prepared. I like Google Drive. Google Drive is one of the best choices to use. I use it most of my time in case something happens to my drive. I back up my stuff up from there, but I usually use an extra flash drive on top of that as well, just to make sure be more prepared. Um, and in other news, um, and number seven of the best apps for the students out there who are going back to school. Spotify is on my number number seven list. Spotify is a great it's a great app for music. If you want to sit there and study and you want to listen to music, put up the Spotify app. It's really good, but you have to pay monthly if you want to do premium. It's not free. You have to listen to ads. It's okay, but. It, number seven. And, and number six on my on my list here, the iHeart Radio app. I would recommend using the iHeart Radio app more than Spotify or Pandora because iHeart Radio, you can just create a custom station with all your music and yeah, just listen to it with the iHeart Radio app. Definitely download it, download it, play it. Um, you can even listen to 96.5 KISS FM on there as well. The other radio station sits in the app of the iHeart Radio. Um, definitely download it. It's really better than Spotify and it's better than Pandora. Just saying. Just saying. If you want to study and do that, that's what I used when I studied and it helped me concentrate more. You know, it's just swapping and playing different music and yeah, just, yeah, just download the iHeartRadio app, okay? Okay. 
And number five on my list is Candy Crush. <laughs> we all love playing Candy Crush, you know, while we're waiting to get into class or going to class or why are we in there early or whatever. Or, or, or if you're studying or, yeah, we love playing Candy Crush. Or if you want to need a brain break, we love Candy Crush. Candy Crush is one of the best games out there. <laughs> Although I love the TV show. And by the way, I've always wanted to go on that TV show. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest to get on that TV show of Candy Crush. Yeah. Definitely we'll get on that show someday. Because <laughs> I am like the queen of Candy Crush. I love Candy Crush. I play Candy Crush every night when I edit these videos. Okay? Okay. And number four, EA Access. All you sports fans out there like myself, like myself, um, the EA Access is for, for the football pe peeps, hockey peeps. I don't, I, get, I think basketball is in there too. Basketball. Um, it's mainly a streaming service where you can go on your Xbox and you can actually play the game as well, especially with the NHL 18. With, well, the beta is released, but they, it will be releasing this fall, I think. I think this fall. I got to check that out. Got to look into that. Um, Definitely check into that if you want a brain break. If you don't want to play Candy Crush, you can play EA Access. Uh, only on Xbox One or PS4. Okay? And number three is Instagram. Instagram is one of the best ways to take those little selfies or those photographs, images of all your work on the table or at your desk. Yeah. Or what you're eating or coffee or yeah. Instagram is number three. Number two is Twiddle Trends. We all love looking at the trends. I like trending. <laughs> I like I like looking at trends, but I usually use Google Play Trends. But Twiddle Trends is number two for all you students out there. Um, for the social sites, you, you can want to tweet that you're studying, and you want to tweet your friends and stuff like that. And yeah, number one is Snapchat. Snapchat is one of the <sighs> sources. For all you people that are studying and want to take a, I don't know, a dog selfie or one of those hot dog memes. The little hot dog memes. Yeah, definitely, definitely Snapchat is number one on my list. So yeah, that is pretty much it for today. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. And make sure you follow me all the way out of Live. See ya, peace, bye, and subscribe. Bye.